Considering this person seems like a wrestler's avatar, I've decided to do the same thing for this video. Now some may use CM Punk, and others might use Jericho. Me, personally, I like to go with someone a little bit more... intellectual. Oh PewDiePie, thou has become the new target for rants, some being good and some being crap. WWE DX 2006's version is, well, crap. Hello everyone, it's me, Mikey, or WWE DX 2007, or Emphatic Revolution, and today is going to be the day. This day has been looming for a while, you know why? Because today's the day that the rant that everyone's been expecting from me is going to come out. Today's the day that I rant on someone who really needs a rant thrown right in their face. And you know who it is? It's PewDiePie! Yes, PewDiePie definitely needs a rant thrown in his face. It's not like he's been ranted on before, right? Right? Also, I'm skipping the opening sequence, except for the last part, when he says this. I'm the best in the world at what I do. I know it isn't fair. Oh, yes. Let's see if you can back this up, matey. There's no one on YouTube who is a bigger ripoff and money whore than PewDiePie. And here's a reason. There's a guy who was doing exactly what PewDiePie was doing beforehand, and his name was Tobuscus. And then PewDiePie thought, well, I'm going to steal your ideas, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Only I'm going to repeat everything that you say, and I'm going to steal your jokes. And I'm surprised this doesn't fall under the category of plagiarism, because pretty much what he does is verbatim what Tobuscus does, just with his little spin on it. You know, it'd be so much easier to believe you if you had some proof, like for example some video sequences of both PewDiePie and Tobuscus, because you're making this allegation, and yet you're not showing any evidence, so why should I believe you? And it's really pathetic. PewDiePie should really get a reality check and try to be original, like me. Oh yes, because you're totally original, aren't you? I mean, uh, rants have never been done before, um, rants on PewDiePie have never been done before, no one's ever used a WWE Superstar as their avatar before, <laughs> you're so totally original. Um, how about some Odile Ego for some shampoo? Yeah, I use copyrighted content sometimes. Yeah, I have a lot of some mascotted characters, but you know what? My voice is the one thing I have, and that's the most important thing I have, because that's what makes my videos. Well, arguably, your mind is more important, because if you're talking and you're not basically thinking, you're going to sound stupid. Despite the fact that I use copyrighted content, I still find a way to entertain, and I still give 110% every time. PewDiePie doesn't even try. He doesn't give 0.2%. He just throws together a video, plays some stupid-ass game, makes the same old jokes, and never changes his style. I mean, if, I mean if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But PewDiePie's whole game plan is broken, but he refuses to fix it because it makes him money. And that's bad in what way? If something is actually making you money, why try and change it? It's like how I rant about WWE on Raw Down Rebound. Either way, it's still making them money, so why are they going to change what they're doing? Now, if I were a YouTube partner, when I had the option to make money, I would do it, but I wouldn't let it go to my head. Oh, but you let your I ego, that's saying that you think that you're better than PewDiePie, go over it, right? Monkey. I'd still be the same guy that you know, wouldn't change anything about me. But back on topic to freaking PewDiePie. I mean, just just look at this guy. Didn't you take this face seriously? His, his real name is Felix Yelberg. I mean, come on, what kind of a faggot are you? You're from Sweden? My good sir, I must ask you one simple question. What does his name or where he comes from have to do with anything? I mean, why don't you do something that's more productive? Why don't you go outside and get a job? Why don't you actually do something that's worthwhile instead of making YouTube videos that all of your brain-dead subscribers watch? So it's perfectly fine for you to make videos, but his videos are pointless and he shouldn't make any? Hypocrite, hypocrite, you are a hypocrite. Only because it makes you money. And because, oh, that, he's funny. Look, oh, oh, freaking PewDiePie is funny. He sure is hilarious. Oh, PewDiePie made a new video, I'm going to check my subscriptions for it. What a joke. What a freaking joke. How is this guy popular? It's a freaking miracle. It's a miracle that he's popular. Maybe it's that weird, strange thing called having a different taste. And everyone just loves him. 
and everyone thinks that he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. That's wrong. As a matter of fact, as a shield would say, that's an injustice. The fact that he is more popular than some of the small time channels on YouTube, that is an injustice. PewDiePie being more famous than me, INJUSTICE! According to a lot of people on this site, the only way you can get popular on here is that if you kiss the owner's ass. If you kiss a freaking higher up's ass. See, I haven't done that. I've been indie. Sure, I use this website to host my videos, but besides that, they're meaningless to me. The owners, the higher ups of this website, they're meaningless to me. They mean a lot to PewDiePie for obvious reasons, because they sign his paycheck. Ew, I'm so much better because I don't need to rely on the YouTube staff. I'm so much indie, so I'm so much better, but PewDiePie, oh, PewDiePie needs his YouTube staff because they give him his money. Oh, but I'm so much better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's really a joke that this guy even exists. It's a joke that he has a girlfriend. Wait, how is him having a girlfriend a joke? Is it because that you're saying that the way he betrays himself on his videos is the way he betrays himself in real life? That's a stupid thing to say. And it's a joke that he actually has access to all these games and things to do. He makes collabs with people. He thinks he's so badass. Well, guess what, PewDiePie? You're not badass. And I'll be the first to tell you that. I highly doubt that. If I saw you on the street, I'd probably call you a hobo and throw a rock at you. Because that's what you look like. Now, if you were to actually have an ounce of sense, you'd leave YouTube and never come back. Hey, guess what? I don't like you. So get the fuck off of YouTube. Yeah, I know. It sounds so generic, but it's been said before. But... The thing is, though, is that you don't care about your image, you only care about your paycheck every week. And, and you want to make your stupid-ass videos where you overreact for no apparent reason and you rip off the buskis. If you were to just be a little bit more productive and a little bit more original, be more like Felix Yelberg. So he should be more original, but also at the same time be more like someone else, which completely destroys the point about being more original. Gee, the logic of that makes my head hurt than PewDiePie, then maybe I could actually like you and take you seriously, but odds are that won't happen. So best of luck in your future endeavors, kid, because once you realize the truth that YouTube isn't a job and that your videos, while they get a bunch of views and they make you a little bit of money, it can't be what you do forever. Why don't you go to college, why don't you get a job and do something that's actually productive with your life instead of making stupid ass YouTube videos which all your brain dead subscribers follow. And why don't you pass the torch over to a person who actually tries and a person who rises above and a person who actually cares about the quality of their content. Why don't you pass the torch to me? Jeez, I can no longer see the video anymore. All I can see is your massive ego. Okay, pass the torch to me. Some people might call me egotistical, but I don't care. Oh, I I'm not just calling you egotistical, I'm also calling you a hypocrite. Because if I ca had to carry the torch on my- like, if I had to carry the burden of YouTube on my back, it wouldn't be for the higher-ups and it wouldn't be for them. I would make creative content that would be worthwhile to watch. Yes, I will make creative content that is worth watching. Like this rant video on PewDiePie that's already been done a hundred times before. And PewDiePie can't do that himself, and if he can't come to his own senses and do that himself, well then I'd be happy to be the one who actually makes productive content. And PewDiePie, if, you were, if you're watching this video, odds are you're not. You probably don't even have time. You're probably just playing those gay-ass video games and not doing anything worthwhile. If you're watching this video, I bet you're like, oh, this kid's nothing. Well, guess what, PewDiePie? I'm something. And you know what? If you want to have a discussion with me personally, if you want to talk about exactly the kind of man that you are, you can add me on AIM, MikeyWDX2007. You can add me on Skype. The Miz Fan 1995. You can personal message me on YouTube. You can direct message me on Twitter at WDX 2007. You can do whatever you want. Any contact method. Anywhere you want. I'm urging you, PewDiePie, and I'm urging your fans to just bring it, bitch. Because if you don't, then I win. So you acknowledge that he might not watch your video, but then you say that if he doesn't basically try and argue with you, then you are the champion. <laughs> yeah, you better be careful. You might explode. Because if you have a problem with me, 
then you can leave your you can leave your hateful comments in the comment section because I'll take all of you down one by one because I'm Mikey and I don't need backup. I don't need buddies to back me up and defend me. I can take every single person one by one because I am better by myself than an army. Mikey over and out. Oh thy ego is big, thy logic is small. How strange has one thou man falls. I, I have no idea what I'm saying, I'm just making this up on the spot. With that being said, this is End Entertainment. And catchphrase, catchphrase, Twitter plug, catchphrase, catchphrase, joke, catchphrase, catchphrase, Twitter plug, joke, catchphrase, leave.